hello all welcome back so in this video we are going to create a multi-agent system for the content creation so in last video we use a job assistant agent using the sequential agent in the adk so now we are exploring the parallel agent where we'll create a multi multi-agent system for the content creation and we'll be using a three parallel sub agent so let me show you the architecture here so what we are going to do we'll create one parallel agent which will call three sub agent parallelly so let's say users want to create a content on three different platform they want to create content on youtube also they want to create a blog on medium and also they want to add some reels on the instagram so in this case i want to create an agent which can give the outputs in a parallel way because it is nothing to do with the one agent output with the another agent because in last demo we talk about sequential agent where the one sequential agent taking the output from another agent but here that is not the case and all these sub agents can run parallelly in this case we can use a parallel agent okay so first i will just invoke my parallel agent then parallel agent take the user's query and it will send to the all the three sub agent so youtube sub agent independently give me the ideas or the youtube script for the content creation based on the user topic also it will give me the blog outline for the same topic and also it will give me the real idea for the instagram okay so let me just go through the vs code and i'll walk you through the code how we can create the parallel agent so one more thing so this parallel agent does not have the llm capabilities but your sub agents can have the llms or the custom functions or any kind of tools okay so let's go to the vs code and we'll see our agent in the action okay so now i am in my vs code here left side you can see a lot of agents i have created in my previous video so last video we talk about the job search agent so in this video just focus on the content creation agent here so here you can see the agent.py file so here we are creating one parallel agent which is my content creator agent and this is nothing but calling the sub agent you do not see any llm here okay you not see the model so this will call this block agent youtube agent and instagram agent parallelly so if i go up I will show one by one. So first it will call a block agent. I mean not first in a parallel sequence. It will call all the three sub agent. Let's see what block agent is doing. So if I go to the block agent, so block agent is actually using the LLM model, a Gemini model 2.5 flash. And I have given the instruction. You are a blogging expert and suggest me an engaging blog outline and the content idea on the topic. Okay. So let me just correct the typo. So this topic is whatever the user is giving the topic. So output should be suggested title, blog outline and the key points under each heading. And this output will be stored in a state key that is your block content. So I will show you the what is state. This is not nothing but the memory. It's stored in a session memory and I will show you the output on the web UI. Okay. Then the second agent again YouTube agent will give us some catchy title, video script and the YouTube SEO friendly description for the same topic. And parallelly, it will also give us uh, some ideas for the Instagram Reels. Okay, so this is the basic multi-agent system we have created for the content. Okay, so let's start the web UI for the agent and let's see how it works. Okay, now we can see ADK web is started. So let's see the UI. So here we are having all the agents. So we are mainly focused about the content creation agent. And I'll ask a question on a specific topic. Help me to create a content on future of AI. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we got a response. Let's check the response. Which response is from which agent? Let's say the first one, YouTube video content. So we can just click on this and we will see the response is from YouTube agent. Okay, let's check for the second response. This is from the blog agent and it has given the blog title, blog outline, AI next frontier. So it has given detailed instructions. Okay, and let's talk about the Instagram agent. Yeah, so the Instagram agent and I was talking about the state, right? So whatever the output we are storing in a state. So you can see the YouTube content output is here. The blog content output is here and that we can use in our API call while sending the response. Okay, so if you want to check the trace again, okay, how much time each of these agent is taking. So let's say it is taking around the 42 seconds. So each of the agents time you can see 38 seconds, 29 seconds, 29 seconds. Okay. 
so this is your web ui and you can use this for debugging your request response sessions or state so you can use your web ui but just want to make it clear that this will provide you only the back end and this ui is only for your testing so let's say if you want to make it available for users so you have to deploy it on a certain react app or the web application so i have created a simple uh, web application in react so let me show you now you can see a simple ui on my screen so i have created a simple react application that is running in my local so i have just created it to test the request and response so it is not a very great ui or web application just a simple one pager application so here i can test my request and response let's say i'm creating one session so whenever i enter my first message it will create a session automatically i will give the topic for the content creation help me to create content on topic google cloud latest tech stack now you can see we got a response and it got the response first from the youtube sub agent video script introduction okay so it response is in now well visible format and youtube description so google cloud latest tech stack cloud gen ai cloud run bigquery innovation so it is giving the idea okay and the same from the instagram reel as well so real idea to serverless superpower data unleashed bigquery alloy db for next generation so it is giving that response as well so this ui can help just to test the request and response so hope this is clear now how the parallel agent work and how we can use the google edk to create a multi-agent system using the parallel agent so in next video we'll talk about the loop agent so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in the next video